Hello and welcome to this Excel tutorial. Have you ever password protected your worksheets only to come back to them months later and forget what the password is? So now you can't filter or sort or change anything in the worksheet. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to unlock your spreadsheets, unhide your worksheets, and unprotect the structure of the workbook so you can add and remove new worksheets. We're going to do this very easily using AI. I'll show you how to unlock each part separately and then how to unlock everything all together. So the first thing is to unprotect this worksheet. It's not going to let me do anything to it. As you can see, go to review and you can see it's protected as well as the workbook is protected. The first thing is to attach your file. So go to your Excel file, drag it here to ChatGPT. We are going to use 4.0 and for the prompt, Nice, simple little prompt. In this Excel file, make it so that I can work on the sales worksheet. We name the worksheet, reference the attached file, and now we can hit enter. What it has done is to make the sales worksheet editable and then created a new Excel file for us that we can now download and use. Now, if it doesn't do that automatically, you can simply update the prompt up here and say, create a new file that allows me to access and edit this worksheet. So change the prompt as you need it to be changed. It depends on what version of AI you're using for ChatGPT or any of the many other ones. And now when we open up the new workbook, we can edit, we can work with it, we can sort, we can filter, we can do everything we need to do. As easy as that. Now let's get these hidden worksheets back. And what we have are some regularly hidden worksheets. So where you right click or one regularly hidden one and it's off the screen, but you go to hide or unhide. And that is grayed out right now because we have a locked the workbook structure. The other worksheet is Excel very hidden. And that requires you to go to the VBA window, alt F 11 to get here and to access it via your project, which is also currently locked. So we need a password to get into that. So there is quite a bit of protection on this little spreadsheet. I'm going to go for a fresh prompt, no history here that makes it easier to do what you want to do within ChatGPT. Let's paste in the new prompt in this Excel file, show all hidden worksheets. And we are going to put back in the original file, enter, uh, there we go. Now let's try it out. And there we go with the invoice and gardening worksheets. It's amazing how easy that is, but we still cannot add or remove a worksheets. So let's do that next. Simple prompt in this Excel file. Allow me to add and remove worksheets. The file enter. Download the file. And now we can add and remove worksheets. And now let's do all three of those things at once with a single prompt. Let's show the worksheets and remove protection with a single prompt. In the attached Excel file, make all worksheets editable, show all hidden worksheets, and allow me to add and remove worksheets from it. Provide me with an updated Excel file that meets these criteria. Now, the reason I'm not more direct with my prompts remove password protection from this worksheet, etc., is because sometimes it doesn't like to do that. But the truth of the matter is that Excel has never been a secure file format. It's not a very secure format. There's funny little tricks you've always been able to do that everybody could do to access your data. So I'm not really showing anybody anything here they couldn't already do. Copy in the file, enter, and there we go. Let's download the file. And the final version that is editable. We have the hidden worksheets back and we can add and remove worksheets. So if you forgot your passwords, you forgot if you have any hidden worksheets or you just want to make it easier to work on a really big worksheet where you want to open everything up all at once then you can use ChatGPT 4.0 and AI for that. 
Now, some of you may say, well, why didn't I just give you that big prompt from the start? And the reason is because on some workbooks, AI can be a bit finicky. It might not do exactly what you want, and the more that you ask it to do, the bigger the chance for errors. But if you break it up into smaller tasks, like unprotecting a single worksheet, then it has a higher chance of success. So you can try the bigger prompt initially, and then if that doesn't have the expected results, try a smaller, more directed prompt. You have a lot of options with AI, and sometimes you have to coax it to get exactly what you're trying to do. And don't forget, you can download the file that you see here. I'll put it on teachexcel.com and put a link to the file below this video. As well, we have plenty of Excel courses on Teach Excel, and those will help you automate your spreadsheets and save yourself hours of time every week, especially if you work every single day in Excel. So I highly recommend that you give those courses a look. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It will really help us out. But that's all for today. See you next time.